all across the world, there are a handful of concert venues that due to certain characteristics are impossible to top, and they've become music legends onto themselves. And there's perhaps no other place as unique in so many different aspects as Red Rocks Amphitheater. Located in Morrison, Colorado, the history of it being used for a music venue goes back more than a century, when publisher and entrepreneur James Brisbane Walker realized its unique acoustics and produced concerts there between about 1905 and 1910. When it comes to the actual structure, the area that it's in was originally called the Garden of Angels, though it did have the nickname of Red Rocks as far back as you can find. The iconic rocks themselves also have their own names, with the most prominent being Stage Rock, Ship Rock, and Creation Rock. In 1927, the city of Denver, Colorado purchased the Red Rocks area from Walker for a little over $50,000. And in 1936, the five-year construction began on the actual amphitheater. And there has not been a season without performances since 1947. In the early years, the venue featured only classical and opera performances, though at the tail end of the 1950s, a handful of more rock-styled acts did take that stage. This all changed in August of 1964, when the Beatles played Red Rocks Amphitheater, though strangely enough, it was the only show on that tour that the band did not sell out. The biggest shakeup at Red Rocks occurred in 1971 when Jethro Tull played. As more than a thousand non-ticketed people showed up, eventually crashing the gate and getting in an altercation with police that ended with the police firing tear gas, which ended up getting all the way to the stage, impacting everybody inside the venue. The incident led to an unspoken ban on rock-styled acts for five years, and some argue that the only reason the ban was even lifted was when a court ruled it illegal. A wide range of bands have recorded and released their own live performances from Red Rocks, and nearly every band that can fill the amphitheater makes it part of their regular touring schedule. Over the past decades, performers from every conceivable genre have played at Red Rocks, and even for those who have seen countless shows there, there's a certain magic and mystique that's never lost. Standing as one of the oldest and consistently used venues on the entire planet, there's simply no other place on Earth quite like Red Rocks Amphitheater. Oh!